What's up everyone? My name is Post Production Pi, editor in chief for srlounge.com. Welcome to another installment of our weekly ordinary to extraordinary raw edit featuring the Lightroom preset system V5. Now as always, I'll be demonstrating how to create our effects using the preset system first and then we'll be going over through the actual develop settings just to help everybody understand, you know, what's going into each look and effect. And of course, since we've done so many of these, we're going to really focus more and go a little bit quicker. We're going to focus on basically what's different instead of going over everything. Now, that way those those that have the preset system versus those that don't, everybody can benefit from watching this tutorial. And if you're interested in learning more, well, be sure to check out the SR Lounge Lightroom preset system by just clicking below in the description. The link will take you right to the SR Lounge store where you can see more about the presets. All right, so that's it. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be creating a nice black and white filmic fade for this image that you see here. And I already kind of know what I want to go with. So we're going to go a little bit quicker in this tutorial just to show you you know, kind of unadulterated what the process looks like when you're going through and adjusting images on your own. Now let's take a look just real quick on how this image was shot. I'm going to hit I to bring up my information. It was on a 40D. Again, this is taken in Canton, China. This is at 1 400 of a second and F2.8 at ISO 200 on a 7200 millimeter lens. This was actually probably on a Tamron 7200 because you don't see it registering any other information there. So, this was a long while back and uh, well, that's good enough as far as information goes. We don't really need any other info. Let's jump into our vivid stylized presets. Now I already know what I want. I kind of want to go with a high contrast fade that has grain and, and a black and white look. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the punchy fade black and white filmic. So this applies and pretty much finishes our job for us. Again, the base presets are one click presets that get us to a desired effect. But I do want to make a few adjustments. Well, just for giggles, just for giggles. All right, I'm gonna skip over the curves because I don't really wanna modify my curve. I like that subtle fade in the uh, in the vintage punch. And I think it looks great. Let's go ahead and jump down to our contrast. We're gonna add a little bit of extra contrast here going up to medium. I'm also gonna add a little bit more blacks. We're gonna drop it down to say 15 and negative 30. Now this has a really nice look. I'm gonna make one more adjustment which is just in the vignetting. Let's just pull it in a little bit more. And uh, we can also just play around and see if we want a radial post crop as opposed to say a light uh, lens vignetting. And I think kind of both of these give me a good look in the image. That's really it. That's all I have to do with this image. If we want, we can make a final adjustment to our exposure just to get it exactly where we need it after the contrast and the, the shadows adjustment. But that's it. I'm done. If I want special effects, if I want extra colors, I can do it. But I really don't. I kind of like this just nice high contrast black and white look. If I feel like I can say this out as a new mixology, but it's so close to that original vintage preset that I'm not going to. It's just too close to our base vivid, what is it? The base vivid black and white filmic preset. So we'll just leave it right there. Let's check out our before and after by hitting backslash. Here's our before, here's our after. Really quick, very simple. And let's just go through the adjustments that we haven't already seen. So in basic, we already know what's going on here. With our tone curve, we have that vivid punch. So there's that pull up in the shadows. We've pulled up, so the, the blacks are basically pulled up, which is creating the, the fade there. Our highlights are pulled down, which is creating the highlight clipping. And then we're boosting highlight midtones and we're boosting shadow range. So basically we're getting a little bit of extra contrast. That's what creates the pop in the vintage fade or the punch in the vintage fade. Okay, everything else is set to zero. We don't have any black and white mix. We have our standard sharpening amount and going down we have a little bit of extra lens vignetting applied. Now on grain, there's one thing that I did forget and we did actually apply post crop vignetting without removing it. So I do have amount of post crop vignetting of negative 15. We have roundness of 50 and a feather. It's just, we basically just have two lens vignetting effects stacked up on top of each other. So if we want to zero it out, we can zero out the post crop if we want. I actually kind of like it stacked up. It has a really nice look with these two vignetting effects. A very subtle graduation, but it's still a little bit more powerful than just one. And with one, with two of them, we kind of get a more even kind of graduation from the edge to the center. So it's a nice little overall effect. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do is just make a one adjustment to my film. I do wanna go max film grain, because I want extra. I like extra film grain. All right, so you can even add in a little bit more size and roughness if you want. And uh, and feel free to, you know, if your max film grain 
isn't heavy enough, we'll make suggestions. And if we hear enough suggestions from the community, if everybody wants max film grain to be higher, then we'll boost it up so that on the next update, you know, these presets are kind of optimized for everybody's usage. So as you have comments, as you have ideas and suggestions, be sure to let us know on the forums at srlounge.com. So that's it for this image. Once again, here's that before image. Here's our final high contrast filmic black and white fade. Got there in just a couple clicks. Really nice, adds a lot of great kind of detail to the shot and a great emotion to the shot, so I'm digging it. Hope you all like it and we'll see you on the next episode.